is a uh, crazy aka why must I sign in and I just wanted to go over what 2k is likely to say if you do contact them for support with a crash um, I did eventually get a more stable version that seems to have resolved my issues but um, it did take a while uh, so for me it didn't really get fully fixed until um, AMD released a new driver, basically, right? So AMD released 16.11.4, which is for my, uh, I have an AMD card. And so that's basically why it, uh, it wasn't until I did this patch with the, uh, that, that recent patch from, of the game client that the issue seems to have been almost entirely resolved. Um, but it did become a little more stable after I did some of this stuff. Um, so this is, this is what they said when I went through support the first time. You know, verify your game cache. So this basically just makes sure the game installed and downloaded correctly. Uh, reinstall DirectX. So basically um, do all this stuff. And I'll, I'll go ahead and paste all of this into the, uh, the video description. Um, and then reinstall vCredist. Uh, and so you actually need to do this for both the uh, the times 86 and the times 64, for instance. Um, and they want you to do it here too, so you have to do it a bunch. Um, then they ask you to send your DXDiag and MS info stuff so that they can actually look at that. And so then, when it because none of this actually resolved the issue for me. Uh, then they said to do this, and I never actually bothered to do this, um, which maybe it actually would have solved the issue, but I, I, I don't know. Um, but basically they wanted me to go through and rename a bunch of files, but what I found was that it seemed like it was just the one save that was bugged, right? So you'll get into a, a game where, you know, you'll be trying to go the next turn, and then basically once you run into that bug before the patch... Um, that save is just doomed. But if you just start a new game, I actually did not run into it that often. I haven't been playing a lot of super large maps. Uh, it might have been something specific to a large map or something to do with um, dead civilizations. I actually think it might have been related to a diplomacy offer from France or something. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what it was. Uh, but somewhere in there, it did actually get fixed. This, this did not do it for me either, but I didn't actually do this. So, you know, you're welcome to try. Basically, I would say the best solution is to download the game patch and download the drivers uh, and, and update your video card driver. But um, if that's not working for you, this would be probably what they would say to do next. Something like this, right? Um, anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, you know, debugging programs is never simple and it's always different based on every system at least a little bit. But if you want to save some time uh, in terms of waiting for responses from uh, 2K if you run into this problem, this is the first step. So just in terms of getting a further response, you're going to want to do, you know, you will want to have already verified your game cache. You'll want to have already reinstalled DirectX. You'll want to have already reinstalled vCredist, which maybe, you know, theoretically could even solve the issue for you. Um, and then also get your DXDiag and MSInfo. Um, and, uh, to do that, it would be something like this. So you would go to start, you'd run, uh, go to run, you type DX, diag, you know, I think it's short for diagnosis, uh, DX, D-I-A-G, uh, and then OK. Then you save it somewhere, Uh, and then you exit, and then for the MS Info, you go to start, run, then you type MS Info 32, go to open, press OK, make sure search selected category only, search category uh, names only, and then when the systems information window is open, check on file and export, and then do all this stuff. And I'll have the link to this in the video description too. Uh, so in, just in terms of getting a head start on your tech support, if you do end up having to go that route, um, then that's what you're, you know, eventually going to have to do. But hopefully, updating your video card driver 
because I think most of the um, the systems now have updated their drivers, most of the big card companies. And uh, the, the patch today should have resolved the crashes for a lot of people, I think. Um, but if you're still running into this issue, this is what you're going to go through. Okay, hope this helps.